find L inverse of S upon S square plus 1 whole square by using convolution solution. Now consider first of all write down the given data. Given data is L inverse of S upon S square plus 1 whole square. See from this consider only S upon S square plus 1 whole square. We can write this S upon S square plus 1 whole square as S upon S square plus 1 into 1 upon S square plus 1. Now apply the L inverse. L inverse of this first one is S upon S square plus 1. Second one L inverse of 1 upon S square plus 1. See L inverse of S upon S square plus 1. This is the formula of L inverse of S upon S square plus A square is equal to cos AT. If we compare these two, S, S, L inverse, L inverse, S, S, S square, S square plus plus 1. But here is A square. So we can write it is 1 square. So A is equal to 1 here. The next this one L inverse of 1 upon S square plus A square is equal to 1 by A sin A T. If we compare these two here A square here is only 1. So we can write 1 square. So here also A is equal to 1. Substituting the formula that is equal to L inverse of S upon S square plus 1 is equal to cos a t but a is equal to 1 so this is cos t this is called f of t and this one l inverse of 1 upon s square plus 1 square is equal to 1 by a a is equal to 1 so 1 by 1 is 1 so this is sin t this is called g of t the next c L inverse of f bar s is equal to f of t. Next, L inverse of g bar s is equal to g of t. The substitute in the formula here. L inverse of s upon s square plus 1 whole square is equal to L inverse of s upon s square plus 1 into 1 upon s square plus 1. We know that S upon S square plus 1. This is F bar S. L inverse of F bar S into this is the G bar S. G bar S. This is now formula L inverse of F bar S into G bar S is equal to convolution formula F of T. Convolution g of t which is equal to integral 0 to t f of u into g of t minus u t minus u du this is the formula so that is equal to f of t f of t value is this is the f of t value sorry and this is the g of t value so f of t f of t convolution g of t is equal to integral 0 to t f of u but f of t value is cos t here is u so substitute t is equal to u so it is cos u into g of t minus u we know that g of t value is sin t instead of t substitute t minus u this is sin of t minus u du that is equal to integral 0 to t cos u into sin of t minus u du see we know that formula is 2 cos a sin b is equal to sin of a plus b minus sin of a minus b but here is 2 cos a cos b here is only 
cos u into sin of t minus now multiplying and dividing with 2 that is equal to 2 by 2 integral 0 to t cos u into sin of t minus u du that is equal to 1 by 2 is constant integral 0 to t 2 cos u into sin of t minus u du now compare these two compare these two that is equal to 1 by 1 by 2 integral 0 to t if we compare these two 2 to cos a here is cos u so cos u 2 cos u into sin of t minus u du compare with the formula 2 to cos cos here is a here is u so a is equal to u the next into sin sin here is b here is t minus u so b is equal to t minus u substitute in the formula that is equal to, before that is it is multiplied by 1 by 2 integral 0 to t formula is sin a plus b sin of a value is u plus b value is t minus u t minus u minus t sin of a minus b sin of a value is u minus b value is t minus u so negative of negative t minus u whole into du 1 by 2 integral 0 to t sin of plus u minus u cancel this is only sin t minus sin c here here negative of t minus you multiply with the negative u minus minus into t minus t minus into minus it is plus this is u into du that is equal to 1 by 2 integral 0 to t this is sin t minus c this is sin of u plus u 2u minus t into du now split the integration first one second one that is equal to 1 by 2 integral 0 to t whole into first one sin t du minus split the integration second one integral 0 to t sin 2u minus t into du see this is sin t is constant take it outside 1 by 2 whole into sin t is constant in remaining integral 0 to t 1 du minus here integral 0 to t sin of 2u minus t into du we know that integral of 1 dx is x plus c at the same time integral of sin of ax plus b dx is equal to negative cos of ax plus b upon x coefficient here x coefficient is a a plus c so if we compare these two that is equal before that this total is multiplied by 1 by 2 1 by 2 whole into sin t integral of 1 du that is u the limits are 0 to t negative the next one apply here this formula negative cos of 
ax plus b here a is equal to 2u b is equal to t so it is 2u minus t whole by u coefficient is 2 the limits are 0 to t that is equal to 1 by 2 whole it subtract upper limit before that this is a sin t into upper limit is t minus lower limit is 0 negative see minus into minus plus this is subtract upper limit here cos of 2 t minus t by 2 negative lower limit cos of 2 into 0 minus t by 2 that is equal to 1 by 2 whole into this is a sin t into t minus 0 is t plus c this is not at all t into t this is sin t into t the next cos of 2t minus t is t by 2 minus this is cos of 2 into 0 is 0 minus t minus t by 2 that is equal to 1 by 2 whole into this is 2 in sorry, t into sin t plus cos t by 2 minus cos of negative t it is cos t cos t by 2 since cos of negative theta is equal to cos theta see cos theta cos t by 2 minus cos t by 2 gets cancelled the remaining is 1 by 2 t into sin t this is the answer therefore therefore l inverse of s upon s square plus 1 whole square is equal to t by 2 into sin t or t into sin t by 2 one formula it will use in e set also s upon s square plus a square whole square is equal to t by 2a into sin a t or t into sin a t upon 2a here here is s observe this one l inverse l inverse numerator is s yes denominator s square plus 1 whole square but here is s square plus a square whole square so a square here is 1 so a is equal to 1 if we substitute a is equal to 1 here this is the answer